Well, I'm a bit ambiguous about uh, doing unboxing uh, videos, but well, sometimes it's uh, it's a bit informative. I don't know the rig myself. I have the predecessor, the PL365. This is the PL368 from uh, Texan. Uh, I hope they sent me a black one because uh, the packaging is uh, orange. <laughs> then, it would be, then it would be returned. <laughs> no, about, no doubt about that. But uh, well, let's have a, a look at it. I've got the Baofeng UV9 over here as a comparison for the size. Oh, it's not opening too uh, uncomplicated, sir. Ah. What's this? Warning! Shut off the radio during a thunderstorm and disconnect the external antenna. Do the same when you don't use the radio for an extended time. Damage by thunderstorms is not covered by the warranty. Well, they uh, they did send, uh, luckily they did send a black one. There's uh, always some accessories. The pre predecessor was full stereo on the FM band. It's a broadcast receiver. It was originally, but it is uh, great, uh, greatly adapted. Um, charger cable, battery, battery pack. It's indeed a lot smaller than uh, pen lights. The other one had the previous type had a, a wire antenna as well. This one uh, has a bit of a flashy uh, example of the medium wave and long wave antenna that the PL365 had as well. High sensitivity HM antenna, but uh, the, the, the loop AN200 it is, I believe, is a lot better, a lot better than, uh, than this one. But it's only medium wave. Ah! No wire antenna. They, uh, it is really small. Um, I haven't got a PL365 here, but I should compare. It looks a little bit uh, smaller. It's nice. Uh, it has a nice feel feel to it. Uh, let's have a try. Most probably uh, will be at least some current in the uh, in the battery. So let's have a brief look. How do you do that? Hmm. Ah. It just snaps in and it has a tab where you can take it out easily. The clamp is new as well, I guess. I don't remember uh, the 365 having that. Well, reception might be very worse, very bad here because I've got a lot of QRM on this uh, location. How do you switch it on? Yeah. <laughs> ah, is that power? I guess. It is. Ah, 87 megahertz. FM band. What's the band? Uh, I should have got a mi magnifying glass because uh, The characters are that small. I think this is the band. Ah, this short wave. Let's do 20 meters. Oh, ah, it's broadcast. Uh, if you do SSB, it will. Uh, uh, what's the mode switch? <laughs> I'm, I'm able to read it. But now to find it. The other one was, was rather difficult and it didn't have the frequency, the, 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 the keypad for the frequency, so uh, that was even more complicated. LSB, USB. That must be it. 14. 
270. I can't find the filter, which was a novelty in this one. I will have a thorough look in the couple of next couple of days. What uh, can be done with this uh, little rig? Let's see if I can get uh, at least some sound out of it. It really is uh, a lot of QRAM. Yes, it's a uh, it's a single meter. The other one was in DB microphone, which I very much liked. It's ideal to uh, to hunt uh, for QRM or even a fox hunt on the low frequencies, but but more more uh, a fox hunt for uh, disturbances. But ah, it's nice, not no disappointment. What I still wanted to do was to compare the both uh, versions of the radio, the 365, which is on the left side, and the, 360, the new 368. You can see directly the keypad, which is uh, much larger for the new one. And uh, there are also other differences, uh, which you don't see, but uh, the old one is a lot, a lot heavier. And it isn't even the pen lights uh, that cause it. The antenna is uh, really heavy. This is really light. But the, the complete uh, receiver, I think, is also. Uh, let's uh, remove the antennas. <laughs> that is a great difference. Perhaps the antenna is the largest factor, but pen lights also. So the most probably the major weight addition is because of the three pen lights uh, that it contains. And a really small uh, lithium ion is uh, very much smaller. And you can see the speaker is lower, so they had to use the space for more electronics and probably uh, the keyboard, or the keyboard and probably additional electronics. The displays are largely uh, similar, no great uh, differences there. I don't know why there is. 003, but possibly I have got uh, the clock running on time, and that one also isn't. <laughs> uh, amazingly, the clock st was still running uh, while the, the pen lights were empty, uh, so it uh, it stays uh, running even uh, with the batteries uh, exhausted. I didn't even know there were pen lights in it; it was re rechargeable, so uh, no. Uh, leakage or something like that, but they're probably good. I think I used it uh, two or three months ago, so uh, that shouldn't be a problem. But, uh, well, they are equally uh, thick. I didn't remember the clip. The old, <laughs> the old one also has the clip, the belt clip, or how do you want to call it. So, uh, and it has for the battery pack. A grip here. Can I uh, have that sharp? <laughs> it should on. Uh, it should uh, adjust it automatically, but uh, it doesn't uh, very well. Ah, this way it is sharp, and this is the other one. I am not sure this is readable, but I think it is. I did really, I do really like the BL365 still. It's a wonderful uh, radio. But uh, yeah, this one is a huge improvement. Also, <laughs> so another thing what, that what I see is that uh, I haven't used the shortwave broadcast scanning of this one uh, for a few years. And I tried it uh, on this one. Um, I can receive no no HF signal inside here with a telescopic antenna, nothing. And four or five years ago I could still receive s several uh, transmitters of China which uh, st are still broadcasting but 
they are under the QRM the aircon so uh, next thing I will try is to go uh, uh, outside to a HF quiet place and see how the rig runs there because without a QRM eliminator I can do nothing with the, the rig so uh, that's a sad uh, a sad fact of nowadays I hope uh, the QRM will go down but I uh, don't think it will well the QRM eliminators are quite wonderful but they are a bit uh, tedious to use and you have to you have to go through a learning curve you get away all the QRM without uh, weakening the, the wanted signals but um, it's getting worse uh, every uh, few months worse and worse worrying <laughs> Where will our short shortwave usage be in uh, around 10 years or so? Well, very weak, there is something. And 20 meters, but QSP is uh, very bad. I can try if I can find uh, some stronger signals. Late in the evening it does receive uh, stations on 40 meters even uh, in spite of the QRM which is huge not very strong but uh, clearly audible <laughs> 